Hello, my name is Ryan Kaysen, and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I think in many ways, um, yes and no. I think that on one hand, democracy is in crisis, that if you take a look at what has been happening recently with the election, um, what has been happening with uh, the rhetoric that Donald Trump used during the campaign, saying he would only accept the results of the election if he won, that's totally a complete disregard for what democracy is. Democracy is the people coming together and saying, we want this, we want that, and you have to accept the results of that. Um, and then there's the whole thing with Russia and uh, Electoral College. Um, this election was just an incredibly dirty one and not, not a very pretty thing to be a part of, and in a lot of ways it ended up in a very shameful result for our country. But at the same time, I think that democracy is still very strong because Donald Trump has tried very many things that would have hurt a lot of people. One of the biggest ones that comes to mind is the Muslim ban. Um, but the system has kept that from happening. The system has kept things like that from really um, taking effect and uh, from harming those people that he wished to harm. So yes, in one way I think that the democracy is in crisis, but on the other hand, I think that democracy, as long as the people who support democracy and as long as the people who love democracy continue to fight for it and continue to strive for it, um, democracy is always going to stand strong. I think democracy has failed a lot of different people, especially in this country. Because um, our country, while well, not too many people choose to admit it, our country was founded on uh, the backs of slaves. It was founded on the burial sites of Native Americans. Um, it was founded on the sweat and toil of Asians, Latinos, Irish, Italians. Um, everybody, in some way or another, suffered at some point. Um, and even today, we're still feeling the shocks of that. You know, I grew up less than 30 miles away from the south side of Chicago, where, you know, where I lived, where I grew up. It was all white, pretty much, rich, safe as could ever be. You know, it could be the middle of the night, and you could be walking home um, in complete darkness, and you wouldn't have a care in the world. But then less than 30 miles away, there were people who couldn't leave their house, because if they left their house, they ran the risk of being shot or they ran the risk of being pulled over because they didn't turn their stop, the turn signal on. Um, and you can't ignore the fact that most of those people are people of color. Um, then you also can't ignore the fact that a lot of the people who suffer um, suffer because they don't have money or because they don't have the resources that uh, to provide for themselves. Um, so yes, I think in a lot of ways democracy has failed. It's failed a lot of different people for a very long time. But, as I said before, people who love democracy are going to keep fighting for it. And though democracy has failed, just because you fail doesn't mean you stop trying. And so when you fall, you get right back up and you keep your eyes on the prize. And even though democracy, like I said, has come short for a lot of people, it's not over yet. You, know, you keep pushing, you keep fighting, you keep making sure that democracy works for as many people as it possibly can. You keep making sure that this country, that all countries are places where everybody living within them can truly be um, places where everyone has a seat at the table, where everyone is equal, where everyone has a say in the way things work and the way things are done. And no matter what, you always keep fighting to make it a better place, to make the world a better place. Even if your world is just your neighborhood, um, your house, your uh, community, your city, or your country or the planet you live on. You always work and you always fight to make it a better place. So even though democracy has failed some people, um, it's not over yet.